Hello, and in today's 5 Minute Friday, we're going to discuss how to process large maps and 3D models using WebODM if you don't have a super powerful computer. I'm currently in that situation right now. I'm running a, a Mac Mini M2. Um, it's actually quite a good machine and it's good for video editing, but it doesn't have a great deal of RAM and WebODM likes RAM. So um, I tend to find that I can process things up to about 350 images and beyond that uh, things start getting a bit iffy. So if you don't have a super powerful machine, what are your options? Well, option one, of course, is go out and spend thousands of dollars on a super powerful machine. And if you've got money in your pocket that's burning a hole and you just want to go out there and buy that and you've been looking for an excuse, then stop listening here. But if you're in the situation like me where you'd rather keep some of that money for yourself, we're going to discuss another option. So the other option is to use a thing called Web ODM Lightning. You can sign up for Web ODM Lightning by going to webodm.net and I'll include a link in the description. And if you are going to do that, I would appreciate it if you would use my link as it does give me some free credits. Um, but uh, if you once you sign up for Web ODM Lightning, what happens then is you have the option to upload your images to the Web ODM team and they will process them for you and then uh, you can download them. Um, I'm going to show you two ways to do that. So the first one is you go into Web ODM Lightning and once you've signed up, you open your dashboard by clicking in this button up here. And then up at the top, there's a button that says, you know, add files and you would literally just click on add files, put your files in there and um, click start task. And if you do that, once you're complete, you'll be able to download the images as a result and you can view them in a number of different ways. They give different options, QGIS, Cloud Compare, Mesh Lab for 3D models. But I'm going to show you another way to do this, which is if you do have Web ODM running on your local machine, you can go in there. There's an option on the left hand side that says Lightning Network. If you click on that, mine's already set up, but if you click on that, you'll be able to um, connect your local Web ODM with the online Web ODM. And once you've done that, what's really nice is that you can go in as you usually do and say select images and GCPs. And I'm going to select all these photos in here. And then where it says processing node, normally it would say something like node ODM one, which is your local machine. But if you've connected the lightning network, you can drop down and click lightning. And once you do that, what happens is it gives you this estimate down here, how many credits it's going to use. You will get some free credits when you sign up and you click review and start processing in the usual way. And what actually happens now is that instead of those images being processed on your local machine, those are automatically going to be uploaded, processed online, and then automatically downloaded into your local web ODM machine exactly as though you had processed them locally. That's a much easier way to do it. They, by default, they give you an option to process up to a thousand images. Um, I know my machine here definitely won't handle a thousand images. So this is a great way for me to be able to do smaller jobs locally and any larger jobs. I just upload them, pay a small fee and uh, and process them. You will get an email that tells you once they're complete and then you can just come back here. They'll have automatically downloaded as long as your system was running. They will have automatically downloaded. Um, if you don't have the system running, um, you can go over back into Web ODM, back to your dashboard. You can see down here, this is recent activity and I can download the results from here. And here we are, as you can see, processing finished in about 11 minutes, if you look over here. And what I like about this is even though if I go over uh, to, to Web ODM Lightning and open my dashboard, you'll see that uh, my files are here um, and I can download them and do everything else. But what I really like about this is that it downloads them automatically and it just brings them in exactly as though you'd process them um, 
at home. So you can now just, you know, download assets, click on view map, view model and so on. Same as you normally would. Anyway, that's it for another video. As always, I love to hear your comments. So feel free to comment or ask questions and I will see you next time.